Women's happiness after 40, luck is on the doorstep. It seems that there are more women than men in Italy. We won't delve into the statistics, but factors such as the poor health of boys, injuries at work, unhealthy lifestyles, and other issues affect the size of the male population in the country. It may appear that your prince charming on a white horse is knocking at your door, but in reality, he may already be married. A philanderer, someone recovering from a troubled past, a heavy drinker, or prone to other extreme behaviors. Recently, beautiful, successful, yet single women have been setting records for their unsettled personal lives. Typically, these are intelligent women, often with one or more university degrees, financially independent, and well-groomed. Despite their professional success, they remain lonely. Why haven't these bright, charming, smart, and humorous women found the one with whom they like to start a family? Let's find out. Let's look at some practical examples. Claudia not her real name, 41 years old, never married, no children. At 17, she lost her parents, and the responsibility of caring for her younger brother fell on her. She started working early, neglecting her personal life. Over time, her brother grew up, went to university, and Claudia supported him financially throughout his education. When her brother married, the relationship with his wife turned sour, so Claudia, to avoid conflicts, gave them the apartment and moved out. She then focused on herself. She went to university, studied humanities, and upon graduating, found a job she loved. She began to live for herself, not looking back. As her career took off, she entered a new phase of life with new people and situations. She had casual, non-committal relationships, but she longed for stability and family happiness. On vacation, Claudia met an interesting man who she thought was her destiny, potentially the father of her future children. However, she discovered he was unemployed and a gambler, which quickly drained her financially. After ending the relationship, she resumed her search for the right partner. Her requirements were specific, a university degree, single, athletic, non-smoker, and proficient in intimacy. Despite many candidates, none met her criteria, and after brief encounters, they parted ways. At a psychologist's appointment, Claudia sought to understand why men didn't stay long in relationships with her and why they vanished after getting what they wanted. She is smart, beautiful, has an apartment, a car, a great job, a high salary, but happiness eluded her. The psychologist helped her shift her perspective and focus on a more positive narrative. Her new criteria for potential partners became an interesting conversationalist, humorous, reliable, unmarried, and financially independent. Claudia realized there was nothing wrong with her. Men didn't need to be changed to suit her needs for a relationship. A woman is a diamond, and a man is a cut. With the right approach, a beautiful partnership can emerge, but rushing it could result in a flawed union. From these experiences, the wisdom of a woman lies in analyzing past mistakes and not repeating them. Choosing a life partner is a serious decision, since you're selecting a future husband who embodies a lover, father of future children, friend, and support system key components of a woman's happiness. Let's also consider the following case. Laura not her real name, 43 years old, unmarried, no children. From a young age, she dreamed of marrying a foreigner and living abroad. As an adult, Laura frequented places popular with foreigners, like spending hours in nightclubs with just a glass of water, searching for her ideal partner. She joined a dating service that specialized in matching with international suitors, but none were successful. One day, she met an older, distinguished-looking man, significantly older than her, and their relationship blossomed, bringing new excitement and emotions. However, the relationship ended abruptly. In counseling, Laura expressed mixed feelings. While she was thrilled to fulfill her dream of being with a foreigner, the age difference and its implications caused her distress. The psychologist helped her explore these feelings by having her sit into chairs, representing different aspects of her desires, and facilitated a dialogue between them. Ultimately, Laura decided against resuming the relationship and shifted her focus to younger, more suitable partners, regardless of their nationality. 
to build a family with. In conclusion, we've looked at various life stories of women after 40. For some, happiness is being with a loved one surrounded by family. For others, it's maintaining independence. And for yet others, it's about status and not being alone. Each woman defines happiness in her own way, and each deserves to find it.